Hello guys and gals, the Evan one tweet here, bringing another episode of uh, Minecraft Xbox 360 edition that's build a uh, dinosaur park, or a prehistoric park, which is um, I'm going to be calling it, prehistoric land. Now, um, last episode we uh, built the protoceratops enclosure, and I did a few things to it, I like, uh, and plus I worked on the park a little bit, not too many major changes though. What I did for the protoceratops enclosure is I added this little nest, because you know, Kind of probably for perfect for the tops, and I added this a place for them to get in shade. And here's like their little feeding or wherever they want the thing. And then you know like employees on oh, uh, an employees only thing. And over here, way over here, I did I built a bridge and I built the trail down here. Didn't take long at all. Like there's a bed. And there's also a bed over there. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. There we go. And got the bridge here, um, going all the way over from over here, and I got this done. I got I mean I got this right here, uh, staff only. You know, very important because when you go over here, um, there's an employees only door which you, only employees can enter, and you can come in here, go up here, and go up this ladder into here, so you can feed the saber tooth or the smilodons. So yeah, that's oh, uh, that's pretty much all I've done so far today I don't really know what I want to do I'm kinda of like recording this cuz I'm kinda of bored and you know all that and uh, maybe I'll destroy this village don't know starting with this well I don't really want to do that though I'll like do that off camera yeah I'll do that off camera now mm, I'm trying to like fly around thinking of, like if I should build a prehistoric animal or something I really don't know I think I will build enclosure for my favorite dinosaur, Spinosaurus, and I think it should be Okay, first of all, is there a swamp biome in this world? There should be. Um I don't know what swamp biomes look like on this. So I'm just gonna go to a place like that direction, I guess. I'm gonna go to a swamp biome because that's where Spinosaur yeah, here we go. It was close enough too, because that's where Spinosaurus was indigenous, in, indigenous too. I do know my stuff about that. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start building the enclosure. I'm thinking of some strengthful, like stone brick, would be handy. Don't know if I should like do an electric fence, like you know, classic Jurassic Park style. I really don't want to do that. Maybe I'll just like have like a thick uh, wall, just a huge thick wall for Spinosaur here. Like this, and then like kind of build it high enough to enclose the Spinosaurus. Maybe have like places where uh, tourists could uh, view it. And I gotta get rid of all this grass, of course, because as I said before, I want to have it uh, be as realistic as possible and grass didn't evolve with dinosaurs. And I have to get rid of every flower because uh, flowers only evolved in the late Cretaceous period. You know, a little back there. So that's all much stuff I'll get rid of off camera. I'm just gonna build the wall and everything on camera. Or at least the outline of the wall. I, I, I at least want that done. Um, so, uh, yeah. I, I really don't have too many things to talk about. You know, that's nothing new. I never have anything to talk about. I, I always like space out of what I want to talk about. Today I did try to record a new, uh, like a new series. Like my very first episode of a new series. And it didn't go too well. I accidentally changed the channel on my TV. <laughs> Actually did change. The, actually did change the channel on uh, my TV, which kind of messed the entire thing up. Cause this is a new TV, and I didn't really know what to do at that point. So I kind of like stopped the recording and everything, which is good because I actually messed up uh, while trying to record because I skipped the entire video. Now I'm not gonna say what the new series is, but you know you'll find out soon enough. Shane and people, it's a series that I'm gonna really like. Now, I need to get a lot of water with squids. Cause Spinosaurus need to eat, eat <laughs> Spinosaurus needs to eat its fish. I think I should really have that realistic feel. Uh, I'll do that later. Get out of here. Um, yeah, maybe out here, and then I'll like turn this way. Spinosaurus doesn't need a lot of territory either. There's like Carcharodontosaurus and uh, other uh, carnivore, carnivorous dinosaurs that needed more territory than Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus just needed pl a place near water, near rivers, and places that. Had enough fish to actually uh, 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 actually uh, sustain its ha uh, uh, what do you call it? its 
Man, what the heck? I can I always forget whenever I'm recording of what I'm trying to talk about. It always forget. I mean, like, uh, basically, its metabolism needs a lot of fish. There. And yeah, the Spinosaurus right there. The Spinosaurus, as a lot of people probably do know, is the largest uh, carnivorous dinosaur, well, killer dinosaur, ever to walk the earth. It is like much bigger than T-Rex. It's bigger than Carcharodontosaurus. It's bigger than Gigantosaurus. It's bigger than um, all those animals that were once, at once, presumed as the biggest, as, as the biggest, and were thought to be changed, uh, should be changed. Now, uh, Spinosaurus was more like a crocodile. It is like uh, the okay. It's the last of the fishing dinosaurs. It's the last of the um, the. Oh, I can't think of the name. It's been forever since I've said the name of that. Uh, ichthyophasis. Yeah, that's what a fish eater fish eaters called it. The species of dinosaurs. An ichthyophasis. Now the family of dinosaurs is actually called Spinosaurs. Ironically, it involve. I mean, it, like it contains Baryonyx Spinosaurus, of course. Sukamimus and I think I know there's more. I always Aratosaurus, I think too. They're all fish-eating dinosaurs, more related to crocodiles than modern-day birds. Um, it's kind of surprising because uh, most of the dinosaurs are related to birds. Because now, now we don't see dinosaurs as reptiles. That's old news now. We see them as birds, and yeah, that's. Uh, now known fact, and I hate how people call. Well, you know, I, I don't really like, hate it, like get all mad at them, but you know, I just uh, I like try to tell them what the new fact is that you know they're not called uh, they're not called um, they're, uh, reptiles anymore. You know, they're, they're called birds now. Dinosaurs are the direct descendants from birds because they have more in common with birds. They actually cared for their young like birds instead of uh, like say I don't know what type of reptile would have ended its young, but I've heard that uh, there are some types of reptiles that do abandon their young at the earliest opportunity that's what they first thought t-rex was actually uh, and it's actually a line in Jurassic Park that's actually true like the second one the lost world and yeah uh, now it's for now they know that they have my favorite paleontologist Jack Horner has proven that um, you know dinosaurs actually care that scared me I thought I was in for survival mode for a second jerk I'm gonna kill him either way anyway because I hate them die Die. It's easier in creative mode when you have a good enchanted diamond sword. Alright, so is this a good enough size? It's got a lot of water, but the part that I'm worried about is the lack of land. I might have to cover up a few places, but I'm not going to do that on camera, of course. I'm just going to start raising up the wall. How much time do we have? Seven minutes. Okay, we're in seven minutes in, alright. Got a little bit of time. I, mean, I, I know I'm not going to be able to finish this on camera. I'll, of course, finish it off camera. You know, for reasons. Um, okay, so, Spinosaurus, what else do I have to talk about? It. I think I, uh, I'm sure most of you do know that uh, when the first skeleton, the actual skeleton for Spinosaurus, was uh, first found by German paleontologists and was brought to uh, France, I think. I can't remember that. I haven't watched the documentary in a while, too. And um, it was brought to France, like uh, a museum. And in World War II, it was actually, uh, it's now dust. It was actually part of this, the very many dust that was bombed. Like the, okay, let's see. How do I want to explain this? The museum was bombed that contained it. It was bombed by the, uh, uh, the other forces. I can't remember which other forces either. And uh, the entire museum was turned to dust along with the fossils. So it was the only skeleton of Spinosaurus where that was ever found the actual actual skeleton. The, you know, not just like a piece of the skull or teeth, but the actual skeleton was obliterated, and you know, there's uh, no way that any of the anything from that museum could have could have survived. Um, I should have switched to peaceful every time I got into this world. Um, and basically, okay. Um, there are many. Okay, now, there are many dinosaurs that have not have have had a complete skeleton found. T. Rex, one of the most famous one. I mean, like we're actually really the fam most famous dinosaur, being one of them. Velociraptor, being one of them. And you know, all these dinosaurs that are pretty dang famous have not had a complete skeleton found of them. Um, 
No. Um, they have not had a complete skeleton found. There, Triceratops, another one. Spinosaurus, definitely. Uh, really, to find a complete skeleton is like the most rare thing in paleontology. If you were to find a complete skeleton of any dinosaur, really, whether it be like the smallest dinosaur to the biggest, I'm sure you'd get pretty, uh, pretty famous uh, for doing that because. But most of the bones have eroded. Uh, most of the fossils have eroded by this time. But you're, I mean, not eroded. They actually got like carried off by the river, and uh, you know, most of that the time, the time over. Okay, over time, the bones, the fossils had not. Uh, say, uh, we're not. Uh, okay, so I need to talk here. Over time, the the fossils were not pre preserved enough, uh, making them erode like eroded into the earth. Making us so we can't find like a complete skeleton that is like, really rare, and the reason why we can't like one of the reasons why we can't find mostly a complete skeleton of Spinosaurus is that, this is a theory actually is that the fossils actually turn into sandstone before you can find them. I don't really know about that because Carcharodontosaurus there has been a few of them found where Spinosaurus in the area. Um, there has been a few of them that have been perfectly fine, but I'm not going to argue with the uh, professionals at this. Even though sometimes they are wrong, but you know, I respect the paleontologists because you know, of course, that's why I want to be when I graduate college. That's my dream. It's been my dream since I was little, and I have mentioned this before. And yeah, what time we got? Eleven minutes. Uh, don't know when I'm gonna end this episode. All right, guys, I'll just finish this off camera, and uh, this is where I'm gonna tell you to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, even if you don't subscribe, I want to thank you for watching the video at least. And uh, if, if you could keep on watching the videos and tell your friends about the these videos, um, I will have more videos up more. Well, yeah, up more. I need to have. I need to upload a Batman video. I need to upload. Yeah, I have quite a bit to upload. And just you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and have an awesome day. Bye.